Why do you suppose Herb wants to meet in the park? He's frightened. Doesn't want any eyes or ears around. Yeah, but can you trust him? Two weeks ago, the answer would have been no. Tonight, who knows? <laughs> the carriage house. No, Herc. I wonder what... Hornet! Over here! Wait, wait, wait! It's me, Herc! I hope this will be a friendly meeting. How many friends have you dumped in the river? Look, I'm only trying to do you a favor. Somebody's out to take care of the big racket guys, and you and me are on the list. How do you know about the list? Never mind. But I'm not going to be a pushover. And if you go along with me, neither will you. How do you know about the list? It's bought and paid for. What else have you bought? If we're together, I tell you. Otherwise... I'm going to play it my way. You talk first. Who did the killings? Don't push me around, Hornet. You need me. I don't need you. I never have needed you, Herc. And I never will. Don't you forget that. Let's go. Hornet, wait. Listen. Oh. Don't touch it. It's poisoned. Come on. him. No chance. Nothing we can do here. Another challenge for the Green Hornet. His aide, Cato, and their rolling arsenal, the Black Beauty. On police records, a wanted criminal, the Green Hornet is really Britt Reed, owner publisher of the Daily Sentinel. His dual identity known only to his secretary and to the district attorney. And now, to protect the rights and lives of decent citizens, rides the Green Hornet.
gives with the racketeers in this town? What about them? Two weeks ago, Kelton, the trucking racket, he gets it. A few nights later, Al Alberts, jukeboxes. Last Wednesday, Klinger, gambling. And last night, Mel Herc, the numbers boss. Good. If they keep at it, maybe they'll finish each other off. That's not the point. Listen to this. Kelton killed by bow and arrow. Albert strangled with a silk handkerchief. A garrote. Yeah, I guess that's what they call it. Then Klinger buys the whole package with a native spear and Herc a poison dart. They're not dying the way they're supposed to. Uh, the effect's the same. Yeah, but who's doing it? That's the puzzle. Yeah. There's a call for you on the private line. Thanks, Miss Case. Excuse me, Mike. Play the story up big. Yeah, sure. Well, what's happened to the good old days? <laughs> It's a district attorney. I've got the scrambler on. Yes, Frank? I uh, got what you wanted, Britt. The ID on that accident victim that you chased. You sitting down? Why? Who was it? A.J. Clark. A respectable accountant with no mob ties at all. Well, I knew Clark. He was a member of the Yacht Club. Nice little guy. Was there any chance that you were chasing the wrong man? None, Frank. Thanks. There's a pattern forming here. But which way does it lead? To the list that Herc bought and paid for. And to the person from whom he got it. Now, hold on, dummy. Just you listen to me. Herc's dead, you hear me? Herc's dead. From here on in, you're taking orders from me. Now, the operation goes on in the same way. Now, you just make your collections like always. Yeah. Some of the knotheads you have to do business with these days. Why you? Any more unfriendly greetings? Ah, uh, come on, Hornet. All you had to do was knock. Then you would have misunderstood the purpose of my visit. You didn't waste much time moving in behind Herc's desk. Well, somebody had to run the operation. I was number two. Maybe with the idea to become number one? You mean, did I knock Herc off? Not necessarily. But maybe you know who did. Oh, you got me all wrong. How would I know? He did. But he was killed before he could tell me. I want to know who told him. Beats me. Wait, well, wait a minute. You've got ten seconds. Okay. Okay. But I'm only second guessing. I got a call from Jockey Tabor. The tout? When he's not touting, he's stolen. I figured Hurt would hang up on him. But instead, he sets up this meat. Who do they think they're pushing around? enough. His body's still warm. This is no coincidence, Cato. That's what I was thinking. Now what? Shake down the room. Look for a lead. Any kind of lead. plan of yours has gone too far. We agreed on our list. Then you went and killed Jockey Tabor. Why? Killing that innocent little man was not on our schedule. 
He was only a waiter here. Innocent little man, you say? No danger, you say? Listen to me and listen to me good. Who do you think you're speaking to that way? We're not your servants, Crane. You three men are as deeply involved in this hunt as I am. And before you go any further, remember that before last night, there were five of us. Jockey Tabor was responsible for the death of our late fellow explorer, A.J. Clark. He was discharged for bookmaking three days ago. And at that time, he approached me and tried to blackmail me. It seems he overheard bits and pieces of our conversations and unfortunately totaled them correctly. You denied everything. Of course, and threw him out of my office. But how does that figure into Clark's death? Simple. He found another buyer for the information. Well, that means we're all in danger. Isn't that the game we've always played? We faced the fiercest animals the jungle could offer us, and we're still here. Someday soon, we'll be recognized for what we've achieved. Ridding the city of the scum, of the arch criminals that suck the blood from our veins of existence. Gentlemen, I propose a toast to the next target on our list. The biggest game of all, the Green Hornet. Sir, may I help you? I'm interested in applying for membership. Well, this is not a regular club, sir. The requirements are unusual. Big game hunting, exploring. I've done a little of both. Here's my card. Mr. Reed, of course. If you make yourself comfortable, I'll get Mr. Crane. He's chairman of the membership committee. Fine. How are you? Hi, Quint. Haven't seen you in a long time. I was asking about you at the country club. Oh, hasn't my advertising department been paying its bills? <laughs> no, seriously, I've been away for a year. Africa, the Near East. My latest trophy. Mm, mean looking devil. And a tricky one, too. Come on, sit down. Thanks. Now, what's this about your wanting to join the club? Well, that's one of the reasons I'm here, Quint. But there's another. Have you been reading about our latest crime wave? I never miss my copy of the Sentinel. I even had it sent to me overseas. Then maybe you can tell me what I'm curious about. The strange way the upper echelon of racketeers has been depleting itself. The unusual weapons used. Odd you should mention that. I was puzzling on that myself just this morning. It's as though someone were trying to implicate this club and its members. What do you think? Frankly, Britt, I think it's ridiculous. I've known every member of this club for too many years. There's not one of them capable of killing. Well, what about the connection with A.J. Clark's death? He was a member of the club. Well, that's what started me thinking. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll run a little private investigation myself. Look back into the membership applications. If I turn up anything, I'll give you a call. Good. I'd appreciate that. And, Britt, let's keep this conversation between ourselves. You have my word. If you're still interested in joining the club, I'll send you an application. Do that, Quint. See you. But that's crazy. It'd blow this town wide open. He just may do that anyway. He's getting close to some answers. Too close. But I'm not set up for that kind of a rub out. Then get set up. I'm giving you Herc's spot with the understanding that you'll take my orders without question. But boss, I... No buts. Do it.
Thanks, Cato. See who they are? Yeah, Crocker's men. Yeah? I don't know yet. I thought this was them calling. Yeah, yeah. I'll let you know. Sir. On it. You're gonna break me getting that door fixed. The information I have might make that very unimportant. What are you trying to tell me? What Jockey Tabor told me. But he's dead. We know. We watched him die. You mean you got to him while he was still alive? Just barely. But he managed to whisper a few last words. <laughs> Quentin Crane. Crane? I just had another visit from the Green Hornet. Never mind about that. What about Reed? Now, you listen to me. The Green Hornet says I'm on your list. And you believe him? He said Tabor told him before he died. Listen, Crocker, I took care of Tabor myself. He couldn't have told anyone anything. I'm not a fumbler. And why do you suppose the Hornet said what he did? I can only think of two reasons. One, that he wants to come between us, divide and conquer. Yeah. He could try something like that. Cut in on the action, huh? Or... This is what I want you to do. trap is set. Good. If that doesn't get him, the snare will. Excellent. You still haven't told us how you're getting the Green Hornet here. The method is unimportant. It's the end result that counts. And a few more minutes will give us the answer. What do you think? Probably the same as you. He knows he's being followed, and that's exactly what he wants. I can see everyone who enters and leaves that gate. <laughs> Be a marvelous thing to have in the jungle. Sit in the comfort of your lorry until the game shows up. <laughs> yes. Who's that? That gentleman is the bait. Bait? What do you mean? Look. To your stations. No guns. Why no guns? We'd have every policeman in the area on us. We use bows and arrows. Silent and efficient. Okay, let's go. What's the plan? We'll have to play it by ear. Who knows what they have planned for us? It's not good. We know that. Don't look now, but there's a television camera up above us in that tree. Our presence has already been announced. Let's stick together. Watch out for traps and snares.
deliberate, too. They're steering us, guiding us towards a certain point. There it is, right in front of us. That's where they want us to go. Now listen, listen carefully. Get behind them and herd them toward the snare. Right there. Well, here's one half of the quarry. Plenty for both of us. No deal, Crane. But my position in the community is perfect cover. For more murders, including mine. There isn't room for both of us. Ah! Hornet! Get me out of here! My leg! <laughs> Hornet, please! That's one way to get to the top. But it's hitting bottom the hard way. Let's call Scanlon. Let him clean up out here. Get me down from here! So, Quentin Crane, supposed paragon of virtue, was in reality a vulture, preying on the good people of this city. You hit it right on the head, Mike. He had just about every racket in this town sewed up. It's open and shut. Bud Crocker's still at headquarters, singing like a soprano, and he's got the Green Hornet tied in tight. That figures. Yeah, and there's one more optimistic note. When this investigation's over, there won't be a game for the Green Hornet to play. I hope you're right, Mike. I hope you're right. <laughs>